Oh, there's Gizmo. Watch the Power Rangers. Just because I just got back from watching the movie The Power Rangers. Oh, man. Okay. Power Rangers. New Predator bottle opener. New Power Rangers movie. I was going in expecting that they were just going to kill it for me. But I, of course I had to see it to see what to do with it. Blew me away. I thought the movie was fantastic. I thought it was so, so good. Mm. Um, where do I begin? Uh, first, we want, of course, we want to talk about the nostalgia feel that you get with the movie. Um, it gives me no alcohol, not for you. Uh, my favorite thing, one of the minor things that I loved is an old show, each ranger wore their colors. Pink Ranger always had a pink article of clothing, so on and so far. They did the same thing in this one. Which is cool. Um, my favorite thing in this movie was the character development. You get attached to all five rangers. Mainly Billy, I'd say. Uh, he's, he's kind of the focal point. The Blue Ranger. Um... I fell in love with Trini the second we saw her because uh, uh, well she's standing on a rock doing yoga poses and she's listening to heavy metal and I like girls like that <laughs> metal head chicks you know which apparently she's supposedly a gay character they kind of crack a joke on it but they don't really go oh Gay, but uh, one thing that I thought I wasn't gonna like at all and ended up loving was Rita Repulsa. Elizabeth Banks crushed it, she was good, she was creepy. I like how they did that character. I hate the suits, I still hate the suits, hated the suits and trailers, still hate the suits now. But what's great is that there's not a whole lot of suit in the movie, it takes them a while to morph. Spoiler alert. The, I mean, naturally, of course, they eventually move. Um, God, it was so good. Billy was awesome. Jason was like a poor man, Zac Efron. Uh, Goldar was. Uh, I mean, he somewhat resembles the Goldar that we all know and love. And I get it because. Mm, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Um, it's just her collecting gold and melting together enough gold to create gold art. Um, but that was kind of poop. Uh, then there's some just some corniness, some cliches, but there's enough nostalgia for the Power Rangers fan, and there's uh, there's enough for everybody. I really had a lot of fun at this movie. On my scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give it a 9. 9 out of 10. There are some minor flaws, but other than that, I had a lot, a lot of fun at this movie. Um, my favorite part that wasn't even involved in the movie, but just being at the movie theater, there's a couple in front of me who uh, are probably around my age, naturally so. And when they finally morph, this couple in front of me gives each other a, a couple high fives because they're really into it. I thought that was great. It was adorable. I didn't like that. <laughs> but yeah, it was great. I uh, love me some Trini. Kimberly's hot too, I mean, of course. Uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 right up there. I don't think I've done a 9 out of 10 on my videos be besides my top 5 horror movies of all time. So, check out Power Rangers movie. It's great. I'm going to drink me some Dirty Coronas. A uh, buddy of mine introduced me to these. It's Picardi Lemon and Corona. And it's pretty delicious. But yeah, I'm gonna... Continue the Power Rangers theme going, watch the Power Rangers, and enjoy myself a good night. And you do as well. Let me hear from you if you've seen the movie. Let's talk about it. 
Let's have a good time. And I will talk to y'all later. Late!